doing an assumptions video so i asked over on my instagram for you guys to give me some assumptions you had about me and yeah i'm just gonna read them and tell you whether they are true or false and yeah hopefully this should be a really fun chilled video and i feel like this top is kind of giving me its snow white kind of vibes how cute are these puffy sleeves cute lily coming in every single time hello my darling angel you wanna say hi you wanna say hi who is it <laughs> say hi say hi no so you're more confident in your clothing because of Instagram. Now, I guess that's true because I'm not really, I'm a typical girly girl. I love dresses, I love summer dresses. I love cute little play suits. Um, I love matching sets. But then also saying that in autumn and winter, I love an oversized jumper. I love oversized jumpers big teddy coats all that kind of thing but i also guess they're feminine too so um yeah i guess so it's nice because instagram i can follow girls with similar similar style to me and who kind of dress similar to me so that makes me more confident in what i wear you're a trainer's over heels kind of gal yes that is true even when i go out on nights out with um my friends and i'm wearing heels they will definitely be coming off before the end of the night i would much prefer to wear trainers over heels but also saying that i am five foot three and so i am small and so i feel like heels just obviously give me that extra height which i do like sometimes so yeah i will wear heels on special occasions or nights out but definitely definitely trainers over heels you dye your hair uh yes i think that is pretty obvious as you can see i am naturally very dark obviously i have very dark eyebrows and then obviously this is my natural hair color so yes this isn't natural that is bleached and dyed <laughs> so yes that is very true you are rich no i wouldn't say i'm rich at all but i am definitely very comfortable with my money um yeah you prefer disney world over disneyland paris now this is true don't come for me all of the disneyland paris lovers because i have been there once and i did love it obviously because it's disney and disney is just amazing the best but disney world just hits differently it has a special place in my heart because i've been going there since i was not even one i've literally grown up at disney world so yeah i definitely prefer disney world over disneyland paris and obviously there's a lot more parks there's water parks it's just a whole world like it says not a land although i would really like to go to disneyland california because i've never been there and obviously that is the original disney so i would definitely love to check that out and see if i still prefer disney world or whether it changes to Disneyland California but I still think my favorite will always be Disney World just because it holds that special place in my heart and it just hits differently and I feel like the castle at Disney World is the best castle out of all of them don't come for me <laughs> you've never been to Spain <laughs> uh, yes I have been to Spain not in the last couple of years the last time I went I was like probably a child but I have been to Spain. I've been to um, a couple of places in Spain, but yeah, um, not recently. You didn't buy your own car. My car isn't bought, it is on finance, but it is on finance in my name. It comes out of my bank account every single month. 
nobody else has paid any money for my car it has come from me the deposit um yeah all came from me and my the car before my car at the moment that also was paid for me i'm currently on the lookout for a new car if you have any guesses of what you think i'm looking for then leave them down below because i would love to see if any of you are correct you are beautiful that's not assuming that's true crystal i love you you prefer dogs over cats yes this is true i love dogs so 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 much they're so friendly and cuddly and cute and obviously i have my own dog i have a little yorkie her name is lily and yeah she's the first dog i've actually ever had i've never had a childhood dog before so when i was like 17 i bought lily i got the money and i bought her i bought all of her things everything and she is completely mine you are a girl's girl that is 100 percent true i am definitely a girl's girl even if i've never met you before and i follow you on instagram i'm going to be hyping you up i'm going to be commenting i am definitely a girl's girl and all of my friends all i ever wish for them is for them to live their best life i'm always wanting to wanting them to succeed in what they want to do in life um, yeah, I am just definitely a girl's girl, 100%. You work in an office as your job? <laughs> no. I have worked in an office um, before and I absolutely hated it. Hated it. It's definitely not for me. Um, my full time job at the moment, although I'm on furlough, is cabin crew, if some of you didn't know. And um, obviously, because I'm on furlough at the moment, I also am a qualified beauty therapist, so I do kind of beauty stuff on the side, um, just for a little extra income. Um, but yeah, I don't think I would ever do beauty as my full-time job. You were popular at school. Uh, no, I don't think I would say I'm, I was popular. Um, I definitely got along with like lots of different people within my year group and other year groups. But um, I don't really think there was a popular popular group in my year. I mean, I could be wrong. But for me, I feel like we were all just kind of like um, a big group. I feel like we all kind of just hung out as a big group together. We all went to house parties together. Um, the prom after party, we all went. Um, yeah, I definitely got along with a lot of people in my year group and had completely different friends in my year and other years too but um yeah i feel like i was popular in the sense that i had a lot of friends but i don't think i was like that typical popular person in school if you get what i mean you love disney more than designer yes this is definitely true if someone offered to take me to disney world versus buying me a designer handbag i'm definitely taking a disney world trip 100 percent um to be honest i don't know who wouldn't honestly because if you passed up a trip to disney world florida for say two weeks because you wanted to design a handbag disney over designer although if you're talking like a disney mug or a designer pair of shoes then i'm taking a designer pair of shoes it depends what kind of disney you're talking if you're talking a disney trip then I'm taking that. If you're talking Disney mug or something merchandise, then I'm probably taking the designer. <laughs> you are always super positive. Uh, yeah, I kind of think, I'd like to think I am. I'm definitely not positive all the time. I don't think anybody is, um, but I definitely try to be. Obviously, I feel like everyone has their down days. Um, we're all struggling with different things that um, a lot of people don't realise, that there's a lot of things going on behind closed doors that we wouldn't necessarily plaster over social media. So always remember that if you're um, watching people or looking at people on Instagram that you think have like the perfect life, living their best life. And they probably are, but They've also probably got a lot of struggles going on, um, whether it's mentally or their health or anything, really. So, yeah, just don't judge. But I definitely 
try to be as positive as I can most of the time. You're a coffee addict. Yes, 100%. I literally live off coffee. I drink at least two, yeah, I'd say at least two coffees a day. Uh, you just can't beat a Starbucks coffee really, can you? Although the 50% off thing on Monday to Wednesday that's going on in the UK at the moment, that is banging and I have been living it up at Costa. I got two drinks, medium drinks there for like, what was it, like three pounds, which is crazy. You're really shy when you meet people for the first time. I feel like, um, yes and no. I feel like I can be, I can come off as quite shy when I meet you for the first time, but I don't think I would say I am shy. I just like to take a step back and kind of observe everyone, kind of feel their vibes and, um, yeah, just let everyone else have their say and of a conversation and then I will give my input into the conversation. But yeah, I feel like I could come across as shy, but I'm definitely not. I just am a lot more quiet when I first meet you. But as I start to get to know you, I am very, very hyper and bubbly and yeah, you won't get me to shut up. <laughs> You're a dog person. Yes, I've already answered this, but yes, 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 yes. I love doggies. Though you love makeup, you'd rather wear a minimal look over a glam look. Yeah, I think so. I, I love like the natural glowy highlighter kind of look. And it's just easy, isn't it? And then when I had obviously like my um, lash extensions and I had my brows done, it's just so much easier. You don't have to worry about your brows or your lashes. Just whack a bit of concealer on, some highlighter, and you're good to go. Yeah, I definitely prefer the minimal look. But if I'm like, if it's a special occasion or I'm going on a night, on a night out, then definitely whacking on some false lashes. You have the cutest wardrobe. Not an assumption, it's a fact. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Well, thank you, I guess. Um, yeah, they are all of the ones that I screenshotted last night. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and learned a little bit more about me. And yeah, tonight I'm gonna be enjoying a nice camembert and mozzarella sticks whilst it is raining outside. I'm gonna finish watching The Kissing Booth too because we finished it last night, but we fell asleep. So we'll finish watching that. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like comment and subscribe it really helps my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye guys